geopolitics is sticky, uh, but it is a concept that sort of puts the place, the geography in centrum. Uh, so it's uh, understanding of contextual issues that um, it's an analytical perspective that takes geography and contextual is issues into account. Well, my understanding of geopolitics is, of course, shaped my, by my own background. Um, I'm an American citizen with a Chinese uh, background, uh, which gives me a, actually a slightly, um, I would say, state-centric understanding of, of how geopolitics um, governs the world today. Uh, but I, what, what I think is really important about this program in particular is, is the critical angle of what geopolitics can and should be in relation to not only um, human society, but also to the environment. So geopolitics for me is about the context that the politics are, is situated in. So for example, what types of resources a country has or where they are situated on the map. My understanding of geopolitics, and I think this is like a newer understanding of it, is that the strategy and interest is not just coming from real politics itself, and it's not just for the state, but it's for the whole world, earth and the world itself. It's not just for humans, but for every beings. And that's why I'm really glad to be doing your research on this. Uh, I'm thinking about your politics as a politics and the relationships between different groups and for example states or urban areas or citizens in different parts of the world, the relationship between them and in a geographical context, uh, how the geographical context uh, influence these relationships uh, uh, that it doesn't have to be about states or nations, uh, it ha can also be between urban areas in different parts of the world or citizen groups in different parts of the world. But how do you, your graphical context influence these relationships? So geopolitics, I think, is important to, to understand or at least carry with you when you look at, as my interest is, uh, how states act in this new, like, or in the Anthropocene, if you want to call it that, or in this new area, where you, new time where you have climate change that is happening. And I think that you cannot look at this without understanding the geopolitics. You need to understand why states might act in certain ways. You need to understand how uh, northern countries might act, might act and see things in a way that countries in the south may not, or in, even in the east. And I think that all of like geopolitics is an important concept to carry with you uh, when you're looking at climate change and environmental politics.